reading your ticket number, not the 50-50 ticket, but we'll be reading your ticket number to participate in the redraw in just a few moments. Green flag is out, and here come the Supers down the front straightaway. First time that pretty much all of these drivers have seen the Lancaster Motorplex, and it is Camden Proud up in front in the 54. Cam works his way off turn uh, number four down the main straightaway. Greg O'Connor sits in second. Lula Vey Jr. in third in that 29. Larkin and Pappen go side by side. Get the fourth spot to Pappen in that 37 as they work it into turns number three and four. But up front, it's Camden Proud in the 54. Things again squirrely for the back pocket spot, which currently belongs to the O'Connor 90 ride, bobbling just a bit, and now you have a tight fight shaping up Pappen drawing alongside in that tight battle for third and fourth as they will shoot down into turns three and four and off the apex. Again, it's going to be Pappen in the 37, electing to get a little squirrely again that time, interrupting myself, and Pappen still holding on to that race car, riding up in third. Pappen up in third. These drivers would, they were all asking, like, how do we get around the place? Feel like you're going to be very loose coming off four, getting onto the drag strip, and you'll be just as loose going into turn one when you get off the drag strip. And right now, everybody seemed to tighten up the cars pretty good here in this qualifying run, but it's Camden Proud up in front. LeVay trying to get the third, but Pappen got a little swirly that time off the fourth corner as we work lap five. Here they come again, working off the apex of turns three and four. Three car battle for positions two, three, and four. Pappen in the 37, trying to reel in the second place race car of Greg O'Connor. O'Connor holding on to that spot coming out of turn number four in the 90 ride. And again, it's circling to the outside. Here comes Pappen trying to slingshot move that crossover, so to speak, as the number 90 flushing high O'Connor in the 90 flushing high in that tight battle for second and third. And now Pappen has moved up into the back pocket spot. We've said it before, going from the outhouse towards the penthouse. And that's Joe Pappen in the 37. Off of turn number two, it is Camden Proud riding in the top spot for this final turn and coming on to four. He will be in for the win. Proud is in for the win. In for second is Joe Pappen, followed by O'Connor, the 29 of Lou Levea. So that is a dedication. And Mike does it weekly. He runs on the dirt on Friday nights and Sundays and then on the pavement on Saturdays at the Steel Palace. Well, they're coming for the green flag as your control car sets the pace. DJ Schumann, green flag is out, and a car breaking loose. Uh, Kabzinski flushing high in that number 23 ride. Hold on to that race car. We continue under green flag racing conditions, and he's able to move up into the third spot. Here they come off the apex of turns three and four. It is, again, the 62 ride of Schumann and the 72 of Pesuzzi riding in the back pocket spot currently off of turn number two. They work down the back straight away. Pascuzzi in the 70 deuce. Kapazinski in third. Here comes Danny K working to the inside. Even keel into turn to number one. And Kapazinski will regain the runner up position as Mike Fowler is slowing in the number 10. We'll see if he's going to be able to pull it into the infield. We should be able to stay clean and green as they work off the fourth corner to the front straightaway. DJ Schumann still leading, but the question is for how long? Because here comes Danny Kay. Kapsinski in that 23. He is rising to the occasion for Schumann. He puts the hammer down to his inside. He fills in that inside groove as the motor on off of turn number four. And it will be the 23 of Kapsinski controlling the racing action. And now you have a battle for third and fourth as well. Shaping up coming out of turn number two. Keep your eye out on the number 72 of Drew Pescuzzi currently riding in that third spot, but it is single file fashion off the apex of turns one and two. Danny Kay, a former small block super modified track champion at the Oswego Speedway. 
Two laps to go for the current director of public and media relations at the Wheat Sports Speedway. For Danny Case, he works it up front in that 23, down the back straight away into turds number three and four. Also a uh, announcer by trade as well for Danny K. He does all the reporting for Dirt Vision. So if you follow along the Super Dirt Series, you've heard and seen Danny K. White flag is up and we'll see what the racing chops can do. He leads him down the back stretch for the final time. Danny K into 23. Riding along that back wall, and <laughs> that car disappears along that back wall with the all yellow paint job. He is in for the win. Coming in second, DJ Schumann in third in the 72 will be Pazuski, Pascuzzi in the 72, and Noah Ratcliffe rounding out the field.